What are the missing key ingredients that are blocking you from achieving everything that you ever wanted? So if you did not watch my previous videos, here is a summary. So imagine you are at the edge of the cliff and you want to get from A to B. You want to get to the other side of this cliff. But in order to do it, you have to cross a really shaky old bridge. And obviously you have a fear, fear of failure, fear of what the people around you will say if you don't succeed. And if at the end of the, of the bridge is a person that you absolutely love and this person needs your help, you would not think about any other obstacle. You would just go and do it. But if it's for yourself, you're kind of postponing the thing that you know you need to do, turning the stuff from your wish list into a must. So to take this step, it needs a courage. So courage is going to the unknown, doing whatever it takes and being prepared to fail. The second thing that you absolutely need to get everything that you want is commitment. You must make this change your priority and obsess about it. Obsess about everything that it needs to take because you've done it so badly. And the third thing is consistency. Because you know the moments when we say, oh, I start with the diet on Monday or oh, I will clean the house on Sunday. And then other things come your way other priorities and you never do it. And then you beat yourself up for not doing what you said that you would do. Or you start and then Tuesday, Thursday, whenever you are back to your normal, back to your old habit, to your autopilot. So consistency is key. If you want to grow a muscle, you need to exercise every single day. If you want to lose the weight, you need to stick to whatever your nutritionist told you to do. If you want to build a business, you need to listen to your mentor and follow the steps. I absolutely love this quote uh, that is from Joseph Campbell. Actually, he's not related to me at all. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. So let me tell you more about Joseph Campbell. He is the author of a book, that is called Hero's Journey. And I highly recommend you uh, look it up or you buy the book. And it's all about the transformation. And imagine yourself, surely once you, you, you achieved something, maybe when you were studying at the university, how difficult that was to master it. How many times you had to go through the exams? How many times you maybe failed or had the doubt uh, whether you can achieve it or not, or in partnership or in any area. So here it starts. The, the journey is the same. Call to action. You hit either the rock bottom or you decide that you need a change and that you are ready to step out of your normal world. On this journey, like every hero from the fairy tale, you meet a mentor. And this mentor tells you what to do in order to achieve what you want. So you go on this journey. And of course, you are going to reach a threshold. You will be like, no, I can't anymore. And you start having the doubts, doubts of whether the mentor was right or whether you are the person that can achieve it. So you are going to question your self-identity. Can I lose the job if we have the fat gene in a family? Can I earn million dollar uh, if all I ever had was XXX? Can I be in a loving relationship if all of my previous relationship failed? But nonetheless, you are a hero and you are determined to get from A to B. So you will sacrifice yourself. And on this journey, you will have many helpers and it will be trial and error and you are going to learn many life lessons. So you learn new skills and you build resilience. So this corporate uh, word, um, what is resilience? Resilience is that if you hit the rock bottom, you are able to get up so quickly 
that people don't even recognize or you don't even recognize that you were down there. You know the past. So that's the resilience by going over and building the, the skills. So at the end of this long journey uh, is a mastery. And you come back to your, your, your normal life, but with the results that you wanted to achieve. So my question to you is, what is what you really, really want so badly that you are ready to commit, find the courage and be consistent? So share this with me because I'm so curious and I hope that this hero's journey helped you because you are maybe somewhere in the middle questioning yourself whether you can do it or not. And I bet you, you can.